Hey NYIT, this is Adriana Martinez, one of the reference and instruction librarians at Worcester Library on Old Westbury campus. Today we're going to look at um, Project Gutenberg, which is a database that is free to the public and free to use, that is all public domain ebook materials and some audiobooks. This is the main homepage for Project Gutenberg which, as I mentioned earlier, is a resource for the public. So anyone with an internet connection can view Project Gutenberg and access any of the digitized books or recorded audiobooks that exist on this page. The way that it works is that as copyright ends on specific works, usually text, it is entered into the public domain. Once these materials are in the public domain, things like Project Gutenberg can take that material and make them freely accessible to the public without any kind of copyright issue or problems. So because of this, many of the Project Gutenberg works, the things that you'll have access to through Project Gutenberg, will be older materials and what is considered through the Western canon as classic materials. Here's an example of a record page. How Project Gutenberg functions is that the thing that they have the thing that they have access to is the work itself, not necessarily any cover art, which is why a lot of times there will be no cover available in that section that you're seeing there but that book that you're looking for is right there in front of you in downloadable files so if you prefer to view things on your browser instead of downloading them you can always click on the read this book online html version of the book which will bring you to something like this which will give you copyright information right at the top there so you understand how this works and how this work got here so you know how to cite it even though it is in the public domain you do need to yield credit to where it came from and the book will follow underneath that copyright statement so the entirety of the book will be accessible to you in your web browser back to the record page Downloading of this ebook is very possible too. It, they make it as easy as possible for you with Project Gutenberg. So you have two file types that you can use. You have the EPUB version with or without the images, Kindle with or without images, and then rich text formats, which will be similar to the way that you read the book online using HTML. The reason why EPUB and Kindle are in two separate sections is not because the book is different. It is simply because when you're viewing a book on a Kindle reader, the Kindle, the reader itself only allows for certain types and formats to be viewable on it. The publicly available version and the one that is usually useful for any other kind of reader or any other medium is the EPUB version, electronic public version.